Hello, 198.7 FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airwaves with this important announcement. I have four free ThimbleCon 87 tickets to give away. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. KSCUM's phone system is now rebooting. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Uh, hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is... What popular weekly radio show does Casey Kasem host? That's correct. Here's your second question. Name the American who won four gold medals at the 1984 Olympics. You got it right. And your final question, which has not been a fad so far in the 80s? That's not right. Let's see how you did. You got two out of three. Close enough for a win. You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmond Hotel front desk. What's your name? Um, my name? Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? There should be some Thimblecon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the Case Gum Abu Trivia Contest. What is your name, Abu, please? Ah, yes, here's your name, Abu, on the list. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Carry this. Ah! None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Ah, uh, prosper. Dime a dozen. I don't want to pick that up. Pew, pew, pew!
big prizes in the Ransom Lookalike Contest. Yada, yada, yada. Look closer at fine print for details. I need my joke book in perfect condition before I enter the contest. Come back here. Hey! Stop! Damn broken window. That's as far to the left I can move it. They'll have to push it to move it to the right. That's as far to the right as I can move it. I'll have to pull it to move it to the left. F you! I'm not gonna jump on that without a spotter. Safety first! Thanks a lot. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000 and I didn't see a cent of that money. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. Unless I see proof, I won't believe it. How else can I help you, Dolores? Are you an expert on cosplay as well? Just the legalities of cosplay. It's a fascinating intellectual property question. By cosplaying, you appear to represent the company, so their trademark... That's okay. I don't need to know the details. How else can I help you, Dolores? Bye. See you later, Dolores. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Uh, how much are the hint guides? The Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 Hint Guide is priceless. 
Just sell your soul and I'll give one to you. It even contains a secret word that will crash your computer due to a bug in the code not caught by the testers. Good testers are hard to find, but worth every penny. I've read all these comics. Okay. Can I trade you something for a hint guide? What do you have to trade? A bunch of adventure game red herrings? Sorry, that's not worth trading for a Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide. Bye! They're comics, D&D manuals, and a priceless and rare text adventure hint guide. No touching! I don't want to pick that up. A new Coke vending machine. It only sells new Coke, and no one wants that. I'm trying not to be convinced into buying any more figurines. Hm, looks like Marvin's cousin, Gary. Starships in bottles, handmade. How do you make the starship so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? They're up in my room, but I can't even leave this table to get some dinner. Can I mind your stand while you get me your tools? You'd need to know a lot about Star Trek to be able to man my booth. Did you know that on Impulse Drive, it would take 400,000 years for the Enterprise to cross the galaxy? Actually, I do. Or that the Galaxy-class Enterprise is 353.5 meters longer than the Constitution-class Enterprise. Yes, I know. Well, I'm sure there is a lot more you don't know. So you see, it's perfectly obvious that I can't possibly leave my stand to an ignoramus like you. But if you got me dinner, then maybe I could do something for you. How much do your starships cost? More than someone in your pay bracket can afford. But today we're doing a special deal. If you can answer me this one question, you will get a free starship in a bottle. What is the question I need to answer to get a free starship? Warning! You only have one chance to get this right. Which is the best science fiction show ever made? Star Trek. Congratulations! You've won a replica of the starship Isabella. Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. The plaque says it's a tiny replica of the starship Isabella in a bottle. Books on UFOs, animation, and puppies. I feel like this Spock cosplayer is ahead of our time. Ugh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. What with him being famous and all. Ooh, cutting edge computer technology. The developers will get upset if I do more than look at this. It's a puzzle dependency chart, the secret to adventure game design. He's Cory! And he's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the lookalike contest. Yeah, so get out of here! <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! Looks fine to me. It's turned on. Testing one, two, three.
I can't reach that. By the power of Grayskull, I greet thee. I'm off to check out Fimblecon. Welcome to the S&D Diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a salad. We're out of salad. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I changed my mind. I'm not hungry. Later, Dolores. get sick just looking at it. It's a promotional bank flyer. Open an account today and get a free toaster. I should wait until he's off the phone. It looks like the old key to the factory, but I can't be sure in this light. It's a small wooden animal figurine. How can I help, Miss Edmund? Can I borrow the key to the factory? I'm sorry, Miss Edmund. I can't release the key, not even to Mr. Edmund's family. That's too bad, Mr. Apollo. Can you help me with this check stub? Oh, yes, this handwriting brings back a flood of memories. Too bad about Mr. Edmund. He was such a wonderful man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, how can I help you? I need a copy of the check that goes with this stub. Yes, I believe I kept all of Mr. Edmund's cancelled checks right here. Here it is. Thank you. It's a copy of the check that Chuck wrote to his attorney, Brant Bailiwick. There's a note at the bottom. Paid in full. All things pertaining to the last will and testament of Chuck Edmund, including reading the will. Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our... I have a canceled check for you. It clearly says that you were paid by Uncle Chuck to read the will. That it does. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away.
I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, Thimbleberry Pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros. Dolores, you figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. 